Hello, water signs. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and this is the general tarot reading for water signs. And this is for April 2023. So that just means if you are Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, then this is your general tarot reading and it's for April 2023. So you should just take whatever parts of this reading that resonate with you. All right, water signs. It looks like right now is a time of moving on this time in April. Over here, we have rest and rejuvenate and we have destiny. So it's like you've connected. You've taken time to really reflect um, to seek inner wisdom. And I feel like it's possible that you're trying to follow your destiny in a certain way. And in order to do that, there's got to be a moving on from something that is no longer serving you in the month of April. Over here on the right, we have patience in planning next to the firm foundation card. So, as you let go of and move away from things that are no longer serving you in your life, you are now able to walk towards the planning of the, the firm foundation. You're building a new firm foundation that now you can build your future from. But you're starting at the bottom, you know? So it's like, you just have to move on from something. Whether it's old, worn out habits or thoughts, attitudes or people, places, things, whatever it is that you need to move on from in the month of April, once you do, your mind will be opened up more and more to creating the destiny that you desire. And you're going to start from building that firm foundation, Water Signs. All right, now let's just shuffle the Rider Weight deck and get a little clarity on this reading for you, Water Signs. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to give the Rider Weight deck a few shuffles here, and then we'll pull four cards from this deck. Okay, so we have Ten of Cups is reversed. We have the Nine of Cups is upright. We have the Two of Swords reversed and the Queen of Pentacles upright. All right, you guys. Well, this is pretty much in alignment with what we were saying. So this is a confirmation for you. The moving on card does create a little bit of, you know, instability. It feels in unstable when you're moving away from one way of being and into another one, right? But we have the Nine of Cups right under the Destiny card. So I, I do feel like this temporary state of being uncomfortable or not liking the way it feels is leading you to a place of knowing what you want in your life. It's helping you to make a decision, maybe a decision that you've had a little trouble. So the walking away is helping you to make a decision about what it is that you really want. And now over here with the Queen of Pentacles, you guys, along with the patience and planning and the firm foundation, it's like you're finally able to focus on what it is that you do want. And you're finally able to start growing your own garden. There's a lot of new growth in this card. The fertility is also symbolized by this bunny over here, the rabbit. So with this queen of pentacles, it's like you're definitely putting in a new attention. You're putting a new attention and awareness in what it is that you want to create. What kind of garden you're cultivating in your life. 
All right, water signs. Now I'm going to get you a crystal angel card for some advice moving forward in the month of April. So let's just shuffle these and see what advice comes out for you water signs. Wow, two of them flipped over together. So first we have the Shara Waits. It says, spiritual protection. You're being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So your angels are with you at all times, whether you know it or not. So even through these hard times of moving on, um, it's like, it's important to know that you're spiritually protected. You have so much love that, that is around you all the time that you don't even realize. It's just a reminder. So along with that, we got titanium rainbow quartz, multifaceted. It says there are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person that you're asking about. So what this is saying is that the situation that is presented here in this reading is multifaceted. There are so many different layers and dimensions to this situation. So it is difficult to really pin it down, right? It's difficult. But I think that even though there are many different layers to it, it's reaching you at the level that it needs from whether it's emotional, physical, uh, spiritual, or mental, it's reaching you where it needs to. All right, you guys, now for you water signs, I will be shuffling the wisdom of the Oracle deck and we're just going to pull three cards as a final message. For you water signs for April 2023. Okay, first we have message in a bottle. So I feel like you're waiting. I feel like there's like... A constant like waiting for communication, waiting to see what someone else says about something. Um, but I feel like that that is kind of like what you're peeling away. Maybe what you're moving on from is like this sense of waiting for some kind of communication, for some kind of confirmation. Then we got the building blocks card. I feel like this is reminding me of the patience and planning card and the firm foundation card. I feel like now is really definitely the time of thinking about what it is um, that you want to create, what it is that you're building, right? And we have the yin card. This is all about being receptive, okay? So with the yin card, I find it interesting that our pentacle, which is very physical usually, is the queen of pentacle who is just simply gazing at her pentacle, sitting in her garden that's being um, cultivated, her garden that's growing. Um, I feel like this for you, water signs, is a time of receptivity. It's a time of understanding your inner workings. And um, I think that building your foundation is more about receiving right now, if that makes sense. Maybe less about action and more about receiving. More about nurturing yourself. It's about a certain level of self-love. Stop waiting for something to come along, right? Stop waiting for something to come along. Receive. Just be. All right. That's the message for you water signs for April. 2023. Let me know in the comments down below if this video resonates with you. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button and feel free to share with all of your water sign friends out there. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I would love for you to click subscribe down below. And once you have subscribed, you can turn on the notifications bell if you would like to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.